I'd like you to squirm on your chair. You can have your eyes closed. Squirm on your chair and feel yourself in direct connection, whatever is beneath you. And have fun with this. Rock back and forth. Swing in all directions. Take a nice deep breath in while you're kind of rocking and rolling on the chair. I want you to get into a state of wiggly, wormy, childlike joy. Wiggle, wormy, childlike joy. Guess what? Children are the ultimate creators. They know what they want. They know they're connected we get to be more like kids. They've got it going on. And so now as you're playing with your wiggly, wormy nature, I want you to take a nice deep breath in through the nose, down to the belly, and up and out through the nose. In through the nose, down to the belly, and out through the nose. And one more time, in, and out. Very, very good. Now, as you're starting to get kind of wiggly, wormy, and relaxed, I want you to imagine that we're all here in a circle, all holding hands, all around a magical campfire. In fact, we're at a national park. Whatever is your favorite national park, or local park or beach at night, whatever is your favorite place if you went with your family or friends out into nature. And we're sitting around the most magical campfire. You hear the crackles of the fire popping through the logs. You see the amazing tiny little embers come out. Don't worry, it's safe. It's a nice dirt pile. They're not going anywhere. You can smell the smoke, just the campfire. Oh, maybe of some marshmallows too. How does it get any better than this? And you feel such love and such peace. You feel your butt now. Maybe it's sitting on some rock or even on the soil, or you feel your bare feet on the soil, and you feel like a kid again. Perfect. What we're going to do now is we're going to realize not only are we the kids at the campfire, but we are the elders as well. And this just isn't, or this isn't just a regular campfire. This is a magic campfire where whatever we desire, when spoken upon this fire, we can literally breathe into existence. As you look around this circle, you realize I'm supported by all of these amazing mystics. I'm supported by all of these incredible elders. And I know as I breathe my story into existence, everyone will feel it on their heart as well. And help me breathe in my story tenfold, a hundredfold, and more. And so you bravely put your hands on your heart and you begin to speak way back when I told a story before hundreds of mystics. It was a story of joy. It was a story of hope. It was a story of new beginnings. And in this story, I went to, and you can go from here and fill in your own magical place. Or we can say, I went 
to what I thought was an amusement park. I thought I was going to go on some rides. But when I stepped forward into the amusement park, something magical happened. I imagined a castle. There was a castle. I imagined cotton candy and it was in my hand. I imagined kids by my side and there they were as well. This was such an amazing magical amusement park that I started to dare myself. What can I possibly dream breathe into existence if I could do, be, or have anything I desire. First, I'd have the most incredible health, better health than I've ever had in my life. And as I said those words, I felt my body feeling stronger, feeling taller, feeling more powerful. Wow, I was healthy. Hmm. And I dreamed I could be rich. And I reached down into my purse or my pocket and I pulled out this stack of cash beyond anything I could ever, ever imagine. But what I really dreamed was for a partner to be by my side or my partner to return to me or to communicate once again with my partner on the other side. And suddenly he or she was there. We walked around with cotton candy. We walked around spending money everywhere. We walked around with such incredible strength. And when I left that amusement park, I realized I could do, be, achieve, or feel anything I desired. And what I desired most was to be the storyteller and the creator of my greatest life imaginable. And so I went home from the amusement park and began to write out the most incredible story of my life. Something beyond which I ever dared to dream or ever, ever contemplated sharing with another living soul. But as I began to write it, I realized I had never left the amusement park. The amusement park is here and inside of me all along. And that's where I'll leave you mystics at this beautiful campfire with this beautiful amusement park inside and outside of you. And at this amusement park, you can truly write out the story of your life. Something even greater than even Disney himself could imagine. How does it get any better than this? How does it get any better than this? Do come back to this. Do listen to this as often as you desire. Do come back to this date energetically as often as you desire. Bathe yourself in this energy, play in this energy, and become the storyteller of your life.